Hello there, viewers. Um, today's video is going to be a little quick, short, uh, I guess DIY project, but um, it involves using um, a electromagnet and a lawnmower or any old school magneto style um, ignition coil. I think it's the magneto is what they're called. Um, now, this doesn't um, require or this unfortunately will not work with any of the newer ones where it uses a uh, control module um, to drive it. Um, this is just the old school magnetic style um, ignition coils, uh, particularly on um, lawn equipment such as lawn mowers, weed eaters, etc. Um, and even some power sports like four wheelers and stuff, dirt bikes, you get the idea. But anyway, so this is just a quick tester I made up. Now all it is, um, is of course just a scrap piece of plywood and an electromagnet. Now where would you find one of these? Um, this came out of a old um, hair clipper set. Um, it was thrown out in the trash. Of course I would never reuse anything like that on my head. <laughs> but uh, the whole reason why I wanted it is because this electromagnet um, that's inside of it. Now all it is is just straight 120 in and then you get your it's pretty much like a transformer but it's just half um, you're just you don't have the full core it's half the core um, so it's just a primary but no secondary and only half of the the core of the uh, device so all you do is a simple switch and then you can tell it's working oh it was already on whoops so bring our screwdriver up oh wait I don't even have it plugged in duh Okay, now we should be plugged in. There we go. And so, if you notice on an old school traditional ignition coil, it's set up the same way. It was only half of it. It's like half of a transformer. Um, now, this one's broke right here, but that doesn't matter. It'll still work. Um, you can even take this piece off if you want. But all you're going to do carefully bring this over and you're going to mate it up like this and there you go now it's a little noisy and now if you can hear that high voltage in there so now this is actually live and if you bring it over You actually feel the corona discharge coming off of it <laughs> but you can also tell if the um so this is the uh short out so this is the shut off so all it does is grounds out the uh, coil and you'll hear it change sound so that's working and of course you got your high voltage output Simply just turn it off and you're good. And that's all there is to it. Uh, it's just a simple way to verify um, old school ignition coils. No fancy electronics, just a basic electromagnet out of a uh, hair clipper or hair trimmer, whatever you want to call it, uh, set. Uh, and of course, just screw it down to some plywood. I just got some nails to hold the wire in place and it's just a quick rig up. And um, there you go. Uh, you can also probably have a little bit of fun with it. A little fun with it too. Um, you can probably add some capacitors, make like a goofy high voltage power supply out of this as well if you wanted to. Like I said, it's a little loud. That's because this is not held down. You have to hold it in place. Um, but like I said, if you're just doing a quick test, you just bam, and that's it. Of course, then you could just check your uh, uh, kill switch. You'll hear that change sound. and that's all there is to it. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.